G'day guys and gal. Although every faction in 40k has their shares of L's and dubs, it isn't exactly a 50-50 split. Some factions like the Imperium end up winning most of the time due to their technical status as the protagonist. Likewise, the Tau often win because they can't really afford to lose too often due to being the smallest empire. However, the Tyranids and Orcs get slapped more than a fat ass at a strip club due to their massive numbers and low amount of named characters. GW has no issue using them as massive punching bags. You could argue that Orcs have it even worse, as during their big war with the Tyranids, that being the Octarius War, the Tyranids actually won. So the Orcs are literally the most beaten and battered faction in the entire setting. So that begs the question, when have the Orcs actually won? Before we get started, October continues and so does the Orc Major Mini releases. This one is a bit different however, we have the Orc Spider Truck. Vehicles are often underrated and unappreciated by model creators, especially with how ingenious and unconventional Orcs can be when it comes to their manufacturing. So we wanted to try and capture that by getting the Orcs to build something they believe is terrifying terrifying to their foes, and yeah, it kinda is, but it's also kinda cute. It features a vicious panoply of front-mounted weapons, however, also acts as a troop transport. Unenclosed, of course. Orcs need to see what's going on. You could actually fit a couple of orcs in the back, with the orc demon killer fitting quite easily, and he's a pretty big boy. It's also designed to be quite modular, so you can really determine which way you want every weapon to be facing. Overall, something quite different for major minis. However, we have had a lot of requests for orc vehicles, so consider this the first, and if it does well, I have plans for more. There's also a bunch of other major minis available, including the Orc Demon Killer, the King Orc, as well as Warriors from the Emperor's Armies, the Space Elves, the Chaotic Legions, amongst many more. The range is actually pretty fat right now. Shipping is only $10 worldwide or free if you spend over $75. Today we'll go over every time the Orcs have actually won a conflict. I'm not talking about winning a skirmish or starting off well and then losing, I'm talking Orcs that are definitely the winners of a conflict and can move on from that conflict with their victory in tow. Uh, let's get into it. <laughs> We first need to elaborate on why the orcs really seem to win. Although orcs are fun, they aren't exactly the most sophisticated, relatable, or deep types of people. As such, whilst the few novels that have come out with them at the helm are good books, you aren't going to get that Horus Heresy level depth or longevity. And since the protagonists rarely lose in their own books, unless of course you're the Eldar, orcs just end up with a short end of the stick. Combine this with the fact that they have very few named models, hence they can kill off their in-law named characters without any impact on the tabletop game, and you have a recipe for Pound Town. However, that isn't always the case and the orcs have in fact won on occasion. This first example isn't actually a true orc victory despite what happened, which quite nicely illustrates the fact that orcs never seem to win, but I'll include it anyway. The War of the Beast. This is when a bunch of orcs randomly became prime orcs, empowered the entire orc wah to new heights, and then had the Imperium at its mercy. They wiped out the Imperial Fists, won many battles on many worlds, and were only stopped by Vulcan himself sacrificing his life, and then the Imperium introducing blankness into the orc wah, like putting an air bubble in an artery. So whilst the orcs were devastating, and won many battles during this war, the War of the Beast ended in Imperial victory. I included it to show what I mean by the Orcs being used as a threatening, but constantly beaten antagonist. Orc victories from now on will be more accurate. Like I can't even talk about fucking Rin's world, where the Orcs almost wiped out the Crimson Fists and their entire homeworld, however was stopped last second by the Eldar, because despite the Orcs winning 95% of the time, they lost the final battle. This is hard man but I like it hard. Most notable victories for the orcs started appearing when Gazkull, the prophet of Gork and Mork, and the current most powerful orc in the setting rose to glory. There was a Death Watch star fortress called Fort Starshield that was in the path of Gazkull's armada. The watch captain sent a call for reinforcements before leading his outnumbered warriors to try board Gazkull's ship and assassinate him. The mission failed. The entire contingent of Death Watch Astartes were killed and their star fort destroyed. Their corpses were impaled on metal spikes as a message to those who came after. So orcs don't always lose, they just need to have overwhelming numbers and target enemies that aren't that important. In the brutal cunning book, one of the few orc focused 40k novels out there, the orcs within were able to force the evacuation of an entire forge world and then were able to overrun it. During the battle, a warlord titan entered the engagement, however was taken out when some orcs on a motorbike were able to perform the sickest jump ever and crash to its head, before butchering the crew. It was so unapologetically orky and over the top that I actually raked the shit out of it. In both the second and third wars for Armageddon, the orcs won many many battles. Sometimes Yarrick would win and drive Gazkal off, sometimes Gazkul would win and capture Yarrick or defeat his men. There were so many battles, conflicts and wars during these planet-wide scuffles that it was hard to tell where one ended and the next begun. So whilst each war for Armageddon technically ended in Imperial victory as the Orcs were driven off, many Hive cities fell and many battles were won by the Orcs, such as when they ambushed and almost wiped out the Celestial Lions. However, that was probably more the Inquisitions doing than the Orcs. A pretty fun one now, we have the Orcs achieving victory over the Iron Warriors during the Siege of Castellax. Castellax was an Iron Warrior world where they built a mighty fortress, however their lead tech priests of the Dark Mechanicum fucking hated his Iron Warrior partners, as they kept taking his shit and treating him like a slave. So he sent out a 
signal to a nearby orc armada that there was a good battle to be had at Castellex. The orcs eagerly obliged. Despite how good the Iron Warriors are at defending, there was just too many orcs. Layer by layer, the Iron Warriors' defenses fell, and with the rogue tech priest sabotaging a number of defenses in secret, it made it even harder for the Iron Warriors. Other issues included the Iron Warrior slaves leading an uprising. All of this resulted in the final fortress of Castellex being surrounded. The Warsmith didn't want to look like a bitch though, so he ordered the tech priest to teleport himself and his elite terminators to the location of the orc war boss to kill him in a final act of defiance and honor. The tech priest said, Lamau, sure, and teleported only the Warsmith to the war boss as well as disabled his terminator armor, so all he could do was stand there raging as the war boss tore him limb from limb. As for his terminator bodyguard, well, they were scattered into atoms in the warp. Yeah, the tech priest really fucking hated the Iron Warriors. The fortress fell, with only a handful of Iron Warriors escaping. The tech priest himself was infected with the obliterator virus and was killed by the Iron Warriors he had betrayed. But yeah, pretty wild to see the Iron Warriors losing a siege to orcs. Just goes to show that being a massive dick to everyone all the time will inevitably bite you in the ass. Next up is Tuskar Demon Killer, since he is winning more than anyone else right now. Tuskar is a war boss that had an unusually high amount of weird boys in his war, which are like orc psychers. Because of this, he attracted a demon incursion on his ships while they were traveling through the warp. Tuskar found the demons incredibly fun to fight and slay, so he got his weird boys to open up a path into the Eye of Terror for him and his war so they could keep crumping demons. Tuskar and his boys Boys tore through Chaos World after Chaos World, defeating the forces of each Chaos God until he reached the Cornite World, controlled by the Blood Prince. The demons of Corn were mighty and Tusker's army was being slaughtered. Tusker himself took on the Blood Prince but couldn't match him and was struck down. However, before death came for him, I shit you not, he tore off the Blood Prince's cock and balls with his power claw. I'm not joking, that actually happened. Corn thought that was so hilarious and that Tusker was so funny that he resurrected Tusker and his war and teleported them outside his brass citadel so that every day they may come back to life and fight another battle, much to Korn's amusement. So even though Tusker lost against the Blood Prince, he had firstly defeated numerous Chaos armies on numerous Chaos worlds, and the end result of getting revived every day to fight demons is literally fucking heaven for an orc, so in Tusker's mind, he is always winning, even when he loses. There was a conflict between the orcs and the Imperium that ended in a ceasefire when the Tyranids arrived both sides agreeing to team up against a significantly deadlier foe. Amazingly, the Orc and Imperial tactics synergized extremely well, as the Orcs charged in, using their usual brawn and brash tactics. As they did so, the Imperium would open up with mortars and long-range weaponry, as well as flanking with tanks and whatnot. The Tyranids didn't stand a chance and were crushed. As the human and Orc commanders met to discuss the ceasefire and likely peace agreement, the Orc apologetically betrayed the Imperial commander, ordering his Orcs to massacre the commander's men. The Orcs seemed genuinely regretful, saying, well, sorry, Sorry mate, but like, obviously you were going to betray me as well, so I just uh, beat you to it. Shouldn't trust an orc, eh? And the commander said, yes, of course. Which was a lie. The human commander was going to peacefully end the war between the two sides. So yeah, a bit of a brutally cunning, or is it cunningly brutal moment. Bit sad actually. In Farsight's recent Arcs of Omen book, the Tau, Orcs, and Chaos get into a three way war. Now, generally, what would happen is that the Orcs would be defeated by Chaos, which would give the Tau an opening to kill the Chaos leader or stem the corruption, winning the war. That's pretty stock standard 40k formula. However, in this case, Farsight withdrew from the battle and he let the Orcs and Demons duke it out. Amazingly, the Orcs won, crushing the demonic armies before destroying all the pillars and relics and shit that was summoning them. It wasn't even like a Spec Ops Orc Strike team took out the pillars. They just overwhelm the orcs and straight up brawn, so yay, go orcs. There are many examples of orcs doing a great job and being on the cusp of victory, like in the Brothers of Snake book, but if in the last few chapters the Space Marines just clutch it and win, then it doesn't count. But here's the real kicker, the moral of the story, orcs don't need to win battles to be winning. Victory is achieving one's objectives. The orcs only objective is to engage in the biggest and best battles available. Every battle, whether or not they crump the enemy or get crumped, is a victory. They are just here to have a good time, with the current state of the 40k setting been a living paradise for them. Every moment is victory, so don't feel bad for Orc or Orc players. They're having just as good of a time, if not more so. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then pick up the Orc Spider Truck. Bit of an experimental major mini, so I'm keen to see how it goes. Hit the subscribe button and hit the real subscribe button for more Orky content. Join the Discord for more memes and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.